I must say, Twilight, that was a marvelous royal wedding. I enjoyed every part of it. Thanks, Rarity. And thank you, every pony, for helping out with the wedding. It wouldn't be possible without all of you. Of course, Sugar Cube. We just want what's best for you, just like you want what's best for us. We are all best friends, after all. Exactly. And we would do anything for each other. Yeah, because we're an awesome team. I just can't believe we had another wedding. That was so awesome. It sure was, Pinkie Pie. And I'm glad that I married Twilight now. Hey, Keldeo, what about the Swords of Justice? Are they okay with you living here with me now? Yes, they're fine with it, Twilight. They just wanted me to be happy. But I am always allowed to go back and visit whenever I want to. Oh, okay. Well, that is good to hear. It sounds like they really support you. They do. They really want me to be happy. That's wonderful, darling. Well, it is getting late, and I think we all need to head to bed. You're right, Rarity. It has gotten late. The moon and the stars are already up. What are you talking about? I don't think I'm ever gonna... <sighs> I'll take her back on my way home. Good night, girls. I should head back home, too, and get some shut eye. I've got a lot of chores to do in the morning, and those apples aren't going to be picking themselves. And I've got Wonderbolt training to do in the morning. Well, I have to get back, too, and tuck all the animals to bed. I really don't want them staying up too late. You and your animals, Fluttershy. We all know how you love them. Mm hmm Anyway, you two lovebirds sleep well. Yes, sleep well, you two. Thanks, girls. Come on, let's head back to the castle. A few minutes later, Caldeo and Twilight arrive back at the castle. Ah, home sweet home. I'll go get the bed set up, okay, darling? Okay, Caldeo. In the bedroom... Perfect. It looks great. Wow, Keldeo. You set this all up by yourself? Of course. I would do anything for you, my love. I would do anything for you too, Keldeo. <sighs> Good night, my beautiful princess. Good night, my handsome Pokemon. In the middle of the night, Ugh. no, Kiram, get away from her, get away from them, leave them alone. Keldeo, wake up! <gasps> T Twilight? What happened? I heard you scream. Is everything okay? No, Twilight, it's not okay. Well, what happened? Explain everything. I had a nightmare. Oh, my Celestia. What happened in your nightmare? Well, we were back in my home in the Unova region, and we were hanging out with the Swords of Justice, when all of a sudden, Kiram showed up and took them away from me again. Even you... That Pokemon kidnapped me as well? Yes, it took you and the Swords of Justice. And then, as soon as I showed up, Kiram killed them all, even you, in front of me. Oh, Keldeo, I'm so sorry to hear about that. Twilight, I'm really scared. What if Kiram comes back for revenge? Or worse, what if he tries to take you and the Swords of Justice away from me? Listen to me, Keldeo. I married a strong Pokemon, and I'm proud of my decision. I promise you that Kiram will never show up again to hurt you. But what if he does? If he does, we'll be prepared. We'll be able to take him down again. 
just like you were able to. Well, I didn't really truly defeat him. He actually won. I just accepted defeat. Oh, okay. But at least you still became a sort of justice. Yes, I did. And I love them very much. Just as much as I love you, Twilight. You mean the whole world to me. You mean the whole world to me as well, Caldeo. Do you think you'll be able to get back to sleep? I don't know. That nightmare really scared me. I don't want to have it again. How about this? Tomorrow morning, we'll have breakfast with the girls, and we can invite the Swords of Justice over, too. I would really like that, Twilight. You always know how to make me feel better. Hey, it's my job, after all. <laughs> well, I think we should get back to sleep. Okay. Good night, my beautiful, majestic princess. And good night to you, too, my handsome Pokemon.